Right on to the Schools Cup and the highlight of today's second round was the game between the Belfast Schools, Inst and Methody. We have action from that game and from two other derby matches. But first, as always, let's see the results. RBAI 23, Method Methody 12. Armagh game is on Tuesday. Limavady Grammar 12, Campbell College 53, Foyle and Londonderry 5, Dalriada 7, Grosvenor Grammar 12, Carrick Grammar 8, Regent House 0, Bangor Grammar 18, Wallace High 23, Friends 5, and Portora Royal 6, BRA 15. Mark Sidebottom now with that roundup. The game was but five minutes old when first blood went to Methody. The ball moved neatly wide to Richard Gervin to weave through for try number one. Inst were dependent on the boot of Derek McComb. It proved as reliable as ever. Two first half penalties edging them into 6-5 interval lead. And Inst turned around 12 minutes into the second half, released Ian Rees. Number eight had a free passage into the corner to make the score 11-5. The conversion looked to be difficult. Indeed, it probably was, but try telling that to Derek McComb. Ten minutes from time, Methody did get it together. Fluid movement from the backs for Surgener to work his way in under at the posts. David Finley converted to leave Methody just four points adrift. Any hint of a comeback was quickly snuffed out. Excellent work down the blind side from Garth McCullough for yet another inst try. The conversion, well, it was a formality. Final score, inst 23, Methody 12. Meanwhile, Bangor played the Blues as Regent relinquished their hold in one half of the cup. David Johnson's boot, the first half, instrument of destruction. A six-point interval lead then became 13. Somewhere in there, number eight, Darren Little, on the end of a fine drive by the pack. It was again good work by the pack, which resulted in the second try. Somewhere in the huddle, wing forward Tim Ward claiming the credit. Late into the game, a little bit of bluster blew over. Final score, Bangor 18, Regent 0. In today's other derby game, Wallace High progressed to the quarterfinals. Their opening try coming from one of their few forward ponies. Scrum half, David Spence, the provider. Full back, David Cleland, scoring in the corner. 8-0 up at half time, Wallace's forward domination began to tell. Andrew Hamilton bludgeoning his way through and over the line. Friends eventually found inspiration in the form of Richard Law. Some good driving by the pack, the captain stealing in and over. Wallace sealed the game with two tries in the last 10 minutes. The second as a result of good handling by winger Gregor Dowd. And into the corner, man of the match, Andrew Hamilton. Final score, Wallace high 23, friends 5. Still in rugby, onto the Schools Cup this time. We have exclusive pictures from all four quarterfinals. First, we'll give you the results from the Reynold Schools Cup. Grosvenor 6, BRA 30, Bangor 18, Campbell 14, RBAI 32, RS Arma 21, Dalriada 3, Wallace High 42. Mark Sidebottom has this roundup. It was billed as match of the day, but after just 18 minutes, Bangor had taken a 12-0 lead. I'd have Robbie Milligan showing all the skill and defiance so often associated with his former British Lions father, Dick. It took time for Campbell to settle, but it was worth waiting for. They played some positively incisive rugby, best typified in centre Barry McCracken. This try leaving the halftime score 18-7. In the second half, it was very much a case of batting down the hatches for Bangor as they let Campbell go on the attack. On this occasion, once too often, Fullback Brian Livingston sprinting all the way to the line. The try was converted, but Bangor held out. Final score, 18-14. Meanwhile, at Osborne Park, Inst were busy showing just why they've been installed as cup favourites. Fullback David Markey on the end of a fluid movement involving no fewer than five players. On a day which produced some outstanding tries, Armagh were right up there with the best. This 15th-minute Tim Kearns effort closing the gap to just three points. Trailing by eight at the interval, Armagh were faced with a nigh-on impossible task when Chris McKibben breezed over to leave the scores 30-14. Enter once again Tim Kearns, Mr. Go It Alone. His only reward, though, respectability. Final score, Inst 32, Armagh 21. Meanwhile, the Wallace High Wagon rolled on today right over the top of Dalriada. Winger Neil Lucas down in the corner for this the first of his four tries. Put simply, Wallace put Dalriada to the sword. And with Neil Lucas playing executioner-in-chief. This late catch-me-if-you-can effort, getting my award as try of the day. Final score, Dalriada 3, Wallace 42.
Elsewhere, Paul Scott kicked Grovner into an early 6-0 lead over BRA. That, however, was to be their last score in three second half tries. All compliments of Chris McCarry eased BRA into a comfortable lead. A fifth and final Richard McKillen try completed the route to leave the final score. Grobner 6, BRA 30. And we'll have the semi-final draw on... I certainly do. It was between Wallace High from Lisburn and Belfast Royal Academy. The venue was Ravenhill and Newsline's match reporter, Brian Johnston. BRA made all the running in the first half. Out half Michael Schofield creating two tries for their impressive fullback Lindsay Kerr. Unfortunately, Kerr picked up a hamstring injury after the second effort and was a virtual passenger afterwards. Trailing 19-3, Wallace were badly in need of some inspiration and got it when number eight Anthony Hamilton got a touchdown with a little help from half the team. BRA hit back almost immediately. Number eight Chris McCary putting scrum half Ricky McKillen away for a score in the corner. At half-time, BRA led 29-13. It was a totally different story in the second half as the bigger Wallace Fords began to impose themselves. Second row forward Daryl Neville was credited with this converted try after a tapped penalty, and Wallace were back in it. Wells may have had a poor day with his kicking, but this penalty was crucial to extend BRA's lead to 32-20. And although Wallace kicked two more penalties, it's BRA who are the first team through to the final. Brian Johnston, Newsline, Ravenhill.